pro we're a property management agency. Frank, do you have something? Yeah, I do. Last week, a friend of mine was back at Craig during the day. Uh, actually, the North End Towards Avenue in Fenda. Parts and parts, of course, the alley vehicle, as we so call it, the pontoon boat, when our boats came up to a ticket for fishing illegally. You do not need a permit to crab, recreation. You do not need a permit to fish, not yet, in New York State. You want to get a ticket. I can't answer that. We've heard about this. We've heard the You want to take heat and 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 you want We will talk to our rangers. Our rangers, we're not a regulatory agency. Our rangers, our rangers are. 50 on a park, which is 50. You go 52, you get a ticket. Our rangers. Fish in public waters, there is no, it's not in your jurisdiction. We're not a regulatory agency, but our park rangers are law enforcement officers, and they are trained to enforce to enforce the law. I don't know I what the law should. here in this case is, and I think we all believe here in this room and back at HQ that we have to be consistent. And if we're not being consistent, if a ranger pops out of the blue, and no, it enforces something out. that's never been enforced before. I mean, and obviously, if they're enforcing something that isn't even a, a rule or regulation, that's a problem we need to talk about. I will, I, I, I'll get my hands on the ticket. The summons. Uh, I will have it uh, directly sent to you. Right. Because there was, there was no un, uh, it was not for undersized or over the limit. It was for fishing where you do not go off. Are you kidding me? There, there seems to be a lot of confusion with the rangers um, telling people things that are more than a like. You but need to allowed to do certain things, like fish or use this creek, and that's why even at our meetings we brought that up so many times. About it. it's part of our culture. It's part of growing up in Garrison right. Beach, growing up near the water like this, is being able to to go boating and to go fishing and, and to be able to utilize you know this resource and. Many people in this room, we found the balance with the environment. You know, we've spent thousands of hours cleaning up, you know, the, this area and working on it. And, and to have the rangers come in and enforce rules that we didn't ever knew existed, you know, or actually maybe they don't exist. But as far as, as we understand that it's not, you know, there's nothing wrong with the water skiing and jet skiing and fishing. And we wanted to make sure that this project and future projects would take that Acti these activities into consideration because we don't want to hear later on that we spent millions of dollars here you can no, you can no longer water steer you can no longer fish and 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 that has been expressed many many times i, I i've known mr leary's heard that um but we would like to have something i guess from parks hmm, in right that would I'll say something tomorrow you know, no. just, just, just to I'll, educate, I'll your, just to educate the uh, rangers. One moment. Uh, Frank, I know it was you who at that meeting asked the question, is there a hidden agenda? Right. And there is no hidden that's agenda. That's what we're, we're begging the question. Yeah. Is there a hidden agenda? There is no hidden agenda. Thank you. Mike? Well, I wrote a letter to the commissioner over the computer about fishing and crab against creek. And that was about three weeks ago, and I have yet to get a response from him. And I will write one more to the commissioner and see if he will respond. Well, I, I imagine he will Second respond. All, I was told by the rangers back there that I was not allowed to crab anything, anything that was north and south on the poles. You can crab east and west, but you can't crab north and south. That's it, fine. Yeah, if you come speak to me afterwards, we'll find out what happened with your letter. I don't have the code with me right now, but I will get the code. I'm still waiting for his letter. You can understand how trepidatious this community is about a project like this. We know it's going to be beautiful and fantastic, but we did have beautiful Australian birds back there that we're concerned about. And Gans is beautiful birds that we were enjoying all this time. And we know a lot of people in Greasy, and we know how the piping clovers and the has affected their lifestyles over there. So when they, we say a bird sanctuary, the hairs in the back of our head 
they'd stand up because we know people, but they're a little nervous about bird sanctuaries because it affects their li their lives and their recreation. So please give us something in writing. Let's hear it's the right? John, 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 John is not on the list of the Mike, uh, there's so many of them. They're not going to change it anymore. Yeah, right. My grandfather, 50 years ago, taught me that when you're going around, you should get a bait in the creek. And if you took muscles out of the bank and took the bait, you saw a bare spot over on the other side of the bank of the bank, you took some muscles from here in the D.C. All right? As far as crab, you took only only the male crabs. You never took any females or any eggs or anything like that. These are all little things that no longer happen, right? Well, I don't think these gentlemen have the answer to that tonight, but we will be very interested about mites, because Mike was You come see me afterwards. We'll look into it. I don't need to come. Just come speak to me and we'll find out what happened in that letter. I can tell you the commissioner takes responding to correspondence very seriously. I'm surprised that after three weeks you haven't been spoken. We usually get uh, get raked over the polls if we can be on two weeks. Anything else? Anything further on your presentation? Uh, about the problem? Well, I, mean, I, I just, I, yes, I just want to thank uh, Parks Department and uh, DC, Suzanne McKay, and all her staff, and Parks Department staff. Um, we've got a tremendous amount of cooperation now. I have a lot of faith that they're going to do whatever it is that they say they're going to do. Also, I want to thank uh, the various organizations that participated in the meetings that we've had uh, over the last year or so, and uh, all the other officials who have participated in this as well. This has been a very constructive, very cooperative process. And I don't think you can do this in any other community in the state of New York, because the folks in this room and others, they really know this stuff. I myself have gotten a tremendous education, uh, and I'm very grateful for the people who have lent their expertise. So I thank you. When a, a knowledgeable community comes and holds our feet to the fire, that's okay. That's we're, we're trying to provide a project that's going to be an asset to the community, and we really need to do it. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would like to uh, add. Uh, I can yeah. discuss the uh, Gerritsen Creek Marine Park project as well as briefly. Please do. Army Corps of Engineers. We're always interested in what you guys are up to. I don't have this. Uh, I don't have big maps again. I apologize. I've got small little maps. Again. <laughs> Pass a few of these out. Does that drawing help you? Up? Uh, yeah, we'll actually. Portal. If you leave that, I can kind of. Pass some of these around. <laughs> this project is similar in home. It's ten big wetland areas and uh, coastal grasslands. <laughs> Basically, oh, sorry. You know where uh, White Island is. Ayrton Creek Project itself is right on the other side here, between the Marine Marine Science Center and the uh, and the uh, golf course. And it's basically um, the intent is to pull away uh, sediments from the edges that are now covered in Phragmites and pile those sands in the center part to create this brown and yellow section, which will be a coastal grassland habitat. Um, and these areas here will become uh, more productive, more uh, regular Spartina salt marsh. Maybe not quite out of a larger map. I'm not yet a but they'll be able to see a little. Oh, it's off the map. Yeah, it's off the map. Sorry, folks. Sorry. Um, the idea is to build more wetlands that get uh, tidally inundated twice, twice a day with tidal cycles. Basically, this project, I think, um, you may, if you've been to the Nature Center at any time since 2004, there were big posters up there for years and years and years. When we had it originally proposed to build this project back in 2004, we only received the funding this year. The Parks has provided funding as well to construct this project. And we believe that we are going to award this uh, construction contract this fall, and we'll be doing construction out here very similar to this project except that we're not dealing with any stabilization of garbage, we're not dealing with any anything in the waterway. We're actually trying to use all the sand on site into the coastal grassland area. You, you probably recognize this area as the area where there's